six planets in alignment. Planetary parade. Planetary alignment. Planet alignment. So what is a planetary alignment and why is it such big news all the time? And how many planets do you need in order for it to be a party? First and foremost, the planets are not physically in a straight line. They're on the same plane in the solar system known as the ecliptic. And although the Earth is round, the solar system is fairly flat. And sometimes, from our perspective here on Earth, the planets look like they're in a line, a curved line, because of the shape and rotation of planet Earth and the location of all the other planets on the ecliptic. And when a bunch of these planets gather on one side of the Earth, we call it a planetary alignment. In Stellarium, we can see the line of the ecliptic very easily. There's a slight variation in their inclination, but for the most part, the planets stay within a few degrees of the ecliptic. We say that the Earth is at a 0% incline because we kind of invented the rules. And most of the planets stay within a few degrees of the ecliptic. Mercury has the biggest variation of about 7 degrees. But in general, the solar system is fairly flat. I'm not going to talk about Pluto or the other Kuiper Belt objects, which have very wonky orbits. And the orbits is one of the reasons why Pluto was kicked out of the solar system. You can't go inside another planet's orbit, Pluto. So how many planets need to be on the same side of Earth in order for us to call it a planetary parade? So there's a famous saying that says two is company, three is a crowd, and four is a party. Although I think the official saying has some of those numbers in a different order for some reason. And although parade and party aren't the same word, they're close enough. So we'll say four or more planets on the same side of Earth causes a party or a parade. And that's usually when we start seeing scientists and people on the news start talking about this as a huge event. And it's not a law. So if you want to party with two planets, be my guest. And looking at this animation, we can see that the planets tend to be on the same side of Earth quite often. And that's because it does happen quite a lot. And the chances are high because we're looking at half of the sky. So 50% of the solar system is on one side of Earth at all times. And the chances that a lot of these planets will be on the same side at any point of the year is fairly high. And that exactly is happening right now. January 2025 has seen some amazing astronomical events from a New Year's aurora to a comet visible during the daytime to a lunar occultation of Mars. And now we have this planetary alignment, which has actually been happening the entire month and the four planets in question are Venus, Saturn, Jupiter and Mars and the reason I named those planets in that order is because it's the order that they will set at after sunset and although Uranus and Neptune are in this part of the sky and are technically part of the planetary parade we don't usually count them because they're much harder to see they're not naked eye objects you can't just look up and see these bright star looking objects like the other four planets that I just mentioned but they're there and we thank them for being part of the parade. If you've read any articles online, you may have heard that the peak of the planetary alignment is January 21st to 25th. But really, these planets have been around all month long. Like, you be able to see them all at the same time from the beginning of the month. And if you look at the sky on January 17th and 18th, you'll see Venus and Saturn very close together in a planetary conjunction. So in my opinion, in my mind, January 17th and 18th is when the actual peak is because we have both a planetary alignment and a planetary conjunction happening at the exact same time. And planetary conjunctions are fun, especially if you have optics that can get close enough, but also see a field of view wide enough so you can see multiple objects at the same time. Planetary parades may not be the most amazing or the rarest of astronomical events that we can experience on Earth, but they're still really fun. And they make for great outreach targets like the one I'll be doing on January 24th with a rain date of January 25th, where I'll be partnering with PopScope to do some sidewalk astronomy. I'll bring a couple of my telescopes and if you're in Boston, specifically in the Cambridge area near Harvard Yard, feel free to swing by, say hi, and look through one of our telescopes at one of the four planets that we'll be observing. Venus and Saturn will set pretty early, but Mars and Jupiter should be in the sky for the entire event from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. I can't promise anything on Uranus and Neptune. They'll be really hard to find, especially from a light polluted area such as this location, where it'll be really difficult for me to star hop. And I'm not planning on being, bringing any kind of electronics or go-to equipment, so it'll have to be a manual find if we even attempt that. So no promises. And before I end this video, I want to share my experience of the best planetary alignment that I have experienced in recent years. As I mentioned, these events aren't really that rare, but there are rare planetary alignments that happen once in a while. 
for example, the one in 2022, I woke up at 4 a.m., drove out to the beach and took this picture. And we can see Mercury, Venus with an appearance from the Pleiades and the moon, and then Mars and Jupiter and Saturn. And if you look closely, you'll notice that all of these planets are aligned in order from the inner solar system to the outer solar system. So I'm really happy that I was able to see that. And although that would have been a really great time for outreach, Mercury and Venus set pretty early in the morning. So they were really hard to see after, after the morning. So the only two other people that were able to see it were the two people who were taking an early morning walk on the beach that morning. So I was able to show them what I was looking at through my DSLR. And other rare types of planetary alignments happen when planets seem to be grouped closer together, which happens every once in a while, but they are more rare than just four planets being on half of the sky. So let me know what you think about planetary alignments if you've seen these bright objects in the sky. Now, if you've taken any pictures, please join our Discord server where you can share your photos. We would all love to see them. And there's still time to get one of my calendars that you see behind me. Thanks to everyone who has ordered a copy already. I am extremely grateful. What astronomical event are you looking forward to next? Until next time, good